I was parked in Edmonton last night. I uh, came back for my grandma's funeral and between 1.30 and 2 in the morning, a guy uh, started pounding on my Jeep and wouldn't let up and so I um, managed to get away. I managed to drive away and he chased me and he was trying to run me off the road and he rammed into me, into my front passenger corner to stop me and I got away and then he tried to take me off the road another three times and I managed to get to the fire hall that was down the road and lay on the horn and get some help. That was really scary. I was terrified, I mean, I was shaking so bad. He was watching my vehicle from 10.30 till almost two in the morning before he decided to, to pound on it. The fireman kept that guy around and so um, he was there when the police arrived. And the police, they arrived fairly quickly. Probably one of the scariest things um, to, to be under attack like that, to be kind of taken off the road. Like you hear those stories, you know, people get taken off the highways and stuff and that was just all too real last night. I, I really thought I was fleeing for my life. I. I didn't know what he wanted from me, but he was absolutely adamant about getting me stopped. Um, the guys at the fire hall, they offered for me to sleep in the uh, gated parking lot in the back of the hall. It was already almost four o'clock in the morning, I think. I did get a couple hours sleep, although it was pretty broken. I woke up in just this like thick sweat and um, I think my nerves were just going. They were so good at keeping the situation calm and stuff. Um, it wasn't until I I woke up this morning that I was just like realizing what had happened and um, it was just too real. It's not all roses. So I'm just trying to clear my head here. Um, I've got a big day tomorrow. disappeared for a little while, uh, just um, kind of disappeared into a little mountain town to um, find my bearings I guess and feel safe. I checked myself into a hotel um, that night and um, the next night and then my first night back in the Jeep. I kept waking up to the sound of the rocks being thrown on my window which is um, how it all started, is I heard rocks on my window and so I lifted my window covering to uh, see what it was and as soon as I lifted my cover I saw a vehicle parked in front of me facing me, uh, kind of blocking me in with their brights on and, um, and then I noticed the guy charged towards my Jeep and started pounding all around my Jeep. My heart was uh, pounding out of my chest and that's what I keep waking up to. Just wondering how to move forward. So I am, I'm in a town that has a pretty prominent van life. There's a spot where majority of them park at night and so I have been sandwiching myself between two vans <laughs> at night, which I'm sure they don't like too much, but um, it's just what I've been doing in order to get some sleep. Dreams are waking me up, like I'm, I'm hearing the noises and, and I'm reaching for my horn and I'm in distress and I wake up and there's, it's silence, there's nothing there and um, I'm sweating. So I'm just gonna stay here till I'm ready to move on, but it's getting quite cold um, at night. 
some point I'm gonna have to leave here. I just, I have a really sick feeling in my stomach. Um, just trying to deal with um, the stuff involved with all of this and insurance and statements. I'm feeling quite angry at the moment. I have like, I'm feeling angry because I feel like this guy is just walking away with minimal consequences and I feel at a loss because of it. And I just need to get through this phase. And I will. Soon. So. I've been pondering whether to share this or not. Um, and for the sake of not worrying anybody, uh, I, I wouldn't share it. But this is part of my journey now. So I just want to reassure everybody Nobody needs to worry. Um, I will be okay. It's just, I think I'm just coming out of the shock. Um, and um, I will be okay. And nobody needs to worry about me. I just want to make that really clear. Nobody needs to worry about me. I am fine and I will get through this and I, I will move on. So whatever happens with this guy, you know, I, I pray that he doesn't bring any harm to anybody else in the future. Um, but the most important thing for me in this situation is that um, I'm safe.
have the event playing over and over in my head and every time I revisit it, I have more questions. And I just, I'm gonna have to accept that I'm not gonna get any answers. And I really have to start letting this go. Um, you know, it just, there's so many questions and it's just, it's uneasy. Like it just leaves a very uneasy, anxious feeling. Should I stay here or should I let go? It's easy to get lost in what's in front of you and become consumed by it. And um, that's what I felt like was happening. I just, I dropped off. I just completely dropped off. I apologize to anyone who sent me messages, or reached out to me and hasn't gotten uh, a reply from me yet. I was feeling pretty low. I kind of lost sight of, of why I was living in my Jeep <laughs> and with that, I, I kind of became a little bit somewhat paralyzed, not knowing where to go, not knowing what to do, not feeling that I was able to do anything. Like it was closing in, like my Jeep was closing in on me and I found myself thinking of ways to um, change. I started daydreaming of all those old comforts and everything that I gave up, the assurance of four walls around me, looking for distractions or anything to kind of make me feel more comfortable and take my mind off those things that made me feel uncomfortable. got on the trail and I started running and I ran and I ran and I ran and I ran farther than I usually run and it was easier than it usually is. I was running but I was like lifted off the ground like it was effortless and these words just repeated in my head lift your eyes and that got me thinking um, got me thinking about my grandma and it reminded me of my favorite verse and remember the why 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 I changed the way that I live why I made that jump to live in my Jeep um, it was that why and a long time ago I had to define that why because I knew that any any challenges that came my way or any hard times or difficult moments I knew that if I remembered the why, then I would get through it. When I set out to move into the Jeep, it was a step in faith, but not just uh, a step to strengthen my faith or my belief, but an actual physical step in the way that I live to place complete trust in Him for His provision and for His protection and for His promises to grow in the Lord's ways. Overcoming myself, I guess, is a way that you could put it growing in the way of his righteousness and learning what that is and learning to put that into practice to be refined in that way
My grandma was a very special woman. She was a beam of light in my life. Um, as a kid growing up, and especially in my later adult years, she was kind, she was witty, she was very hardworking, she was wonderful, she was, she was so many things, but everything that she was was underlined by her faith. And she exemplified what it was to be a follower of Christ, to know Him, to walk as He walked. She had this peace in her. It didn't matter if she was disregarded or perhaps dismissed by anyone. She had this confidence, this peace. She knew where she came from. She knew who she belonged to. Her heart was cured of that inherent pride. She didn't have to preserve herself in any way or trying to lift herself up or anything. She always lifted up the Lord and consequently lifted up the people around her. She put the Lord first and consequently um, put others first and that's what it is. That's what it is to love. She knew how to love. She knew what that was. I see now where that came from. I see now where that confidence and that ability to continue to extend yourself, to give what you have, to be kind. That all comes from that peace, that trust in the Lord. My grandma, she had that. When this all came together, I realized this is that very moment to trust. This is the very moment to hold on to his promises, to endure in his ways, to overcome in his peace. This is the moment.